Hello everyone. Let us learn today side determination of radius. Now this is radius as it is a typical long bone. It has got two ends and intervening shaft. The upper end is having a head which is disc like. Okay, you can say this which is followed by a constricted neck and next to the neck there is a radial tuberosity which is situated medially okay lower end is expanded you can see over here and laterally it has got a styloid process you can see over here and posteriorly the lower end has got multiple grooves and a tubercle this is called as tubercle of Lister right now as I mentioned it is a typical long bone it has got three borders out of the three borders the medial border is sharpest you can see this right rest of the borders they are not that much sharp they are curved but the medial border or it is also called as interosseous border it is sharpest right so the upper end is having a disc like head which is followed by a constricted neck and radial tuberosity which is situated medially laterally there is a styloid process and at the lower end posteriorly there are multiple grooves and a tubercle of Lister plus the medial border is sharpest or interosseous border right so this is a right radius right if I try to hold it like this with my left hand the tubercle of Lister will remain in front okay so that is wrong so you'll hold it you should have to hold it like this okay with the same hand that it belongs so as this will be the upper end which is disc like this will be the lower end which is expanded with the styloid process laterally with the tubercle of Lister posteriorly and medially the interosseous border right which is sharpest hope you understood well thanks for watching